Good morning, Junior Church, or should I say, good evening. Now, I normally film these videos in the daytime, but I've decided to film this one in the evening, and you'll uh, find out why a little bit later. Now, I hope you've had a great half term. I don't know if you can hear this as I am filming, but the rain is absolutely pouring down outside. You might be able to hear it on this video, but I hope you have had uh, a great half term despite the weather that we've had. So today's theme is about light. Now many of you over the weekend and especially last night will have been celebrating your light parties and I hope you all had a great time. I'm still wearing my sticker that says let your light shine and that's going to be our theme today. So I wanted you to have a little think about light. Why do we celebrate it? Well, let's have a think about how we use light. So why don't you have a think about your house or if you're watching this at school, have a look around the classroom and think of all the different types of lights that you can see or that ones that you can think of. It might be that you want to get a piece of paper and start writing down all the different uh, ones that you can see. But here are a few examples of what I have found around the home. The main light switch, or as we call it up north, the big light. Put big light on. Great big tall lights. Little table lamps. Night lights. Maybe you had some of these at your light party. Glow sticks. <laughs> Fairy lights. The light in your fridge. Candles, but then I found a torch. Uh, there's a lantern as well. There's a light in the oven. Uh, there's a light on my phone. There uh, is a light on my alarm clock. There's loads of lights. Did you think of any more? Well, there's been a break in the rain, so I've come out to see what lights I can see at night. So the roads and the streets are lit up with the street lights. There are uh, cars on the road with their headlights on, and I can see lights in all of the shop windows and the houses as well. You might also be able to see that in the sky, the clouds have parted and we can also see the moon. Maybe if I go, no, we can't say any stars, but you can see the moon is shining bright tonight too. Now, you may not know this, but God also created animals that glow. Uh, you may have heard of uh, fireflies before or glow worms, but did you know that in the depths of the ocean, we're discovering more about sea life there, and there are animals that either glow or give out flashes of light. Now, there's the jellyfish, there's the squid, there's a type of octopus, um, there's a snail called a luster wink snail, uh, that's found in New Zealand and Australia. There is a very lovely named shark called the cookie cutter shark uh, and there's also a fish called a dragon fish and these either light up or they glow in the dark. How cool is that? So we've looked at light inside the home, we've looked at it outside, we've even looked at it in the night sky but what is light for? Well, think of all our examples and why we have light. Well, it helps us to see in the dark it gives us heat, it can give us warmth, but also it can give us protection. Think why those fish glow in the dark and flash lights at other fish. It's because they want to protect themselves. And the sun keeps the earth at the right temperature for life to flourish here on earth, for plants to grow and also for us to grow as well. We need it to live. It is life giving. So what does the Bible say about light? Well, we don't have to go too far to find out because if you get a Bible and you open it up on the very first page, you will find a book called Genesis. And Genesis at the beginning tells us the story of creation and light was the first thing to happen. Have a listen. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God hovered over the water. Now, you know if the Spirit of God is hovering over the water, something really cool is going to happen, right? And it did, because God said, let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. He called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, 
and that was the first day. So the very first day of creation, God created life, light, and from that, life flourished. So between that first book in the Bible and the last book in the Bible, which is called Revelation, there are over 200 uh, references to light. Now, I am not going to read them all today, but I'm going to tell you a very important one because Jesus actually said to his disciples that he was the light of the world. Well, what did he mean? Well, let's have a think about what that light is for again. So light helps us to see more clearly. It gives us what we need to live, like warmth or heat or helping us grow. It protects us and it gives us life. And likewise, Jesus, when we know Jesus, it can, he can help us see life more clearly. Uh, Jesus can give us what we need to live and to grow spiritually. Jesus loves us and knowing Jesus helps us to have life in all of its fullness. Now, we're told in the Bible that it's not just that Jesus is the light of the world, but actually he gives that light to us. It's available to us as well. And he shares it with us and it can live within us. Now, can you remember back to Pentecost? That was a long time ago in lockdown. Um, but we talked then about Holy Spirit. And that is part of God that lives within us and helps us to understand God and to connect with him. Now, let me show you what I mean. And to do this, I'm going to take something that you've probably got in your house at the moment. It is a pumpkin. So imagine that you are a pumpkin and Jesus is the light of the world. So I've got a lit candle here to show that Jesus is the light of the world. Now, God made you and he looks at this pumpkin and he says, this is fearfully and wonderfully made. I am very, very pleased with this beautiful pumpkin. Have you ever carved a pumpkin at home? What's the first thing you do? Well, you, you take the lid off and then you look inside and it's full of all the seeds uh, and the pulp. And uh, well, we don't need that inside our pumpkin today. So do you know what God does? God says, anything you don't need, anything that's uh, not of me, maybe you've got the wrong idea about me. Maybe you've done things wrong and maybe you just want to get rid of all that squishy, yucky stuff. Well, I'm just gonna take that all away. So Jesus can take all of that away. And in its place, he takes a little bit, well, he takes his light, and he puts his light inside of us. And that same light that comes from Jesus then lives inside of us. And I've got a picture to show you what that looks like. The Holy Spirit lives inside of us and that light shines forth for everybody to see because when you love God and you love other people and you see them that the way that God sees them, when you're kind to other people, when you say sorry, when you do what is right, the Holy Spirit inside you radiates and shines. Have you ever noticed that even if a room is totally dark and you add just a little bit of light, it changes everything. You're able to see the room more clearly. Did you know there's a verse in the Bible from the book of John that says, a light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot put it out. Now that light is Jesus's light. It's more powerful than all the things that we feel afraid of. And the great news is, as we've seen today, that that light, Jesus' light, lives in us also through the power of Holy Spirit. Now, whether you feel like it's a little flickering flame or a great big roaring fire, don't be afraid to let this light shine out of you for others to see. You know, be kind to one another, forgive one another, love God and see others as God sees them. That is your light. Let it radiate out of you because it is beautiful. Have a wonderful week and I uh, hope your first week back at school goes really well. And I will see you next week. Stay safe, everybody. God bless.